Hey guys, Guy in a Cube here with this week's roundup, and this week was a little slow, but I think I've got some things for you. And as always, the links for all the items I'm gonna talk about are down in the description below. And if you like this video, be sure to subscribe for more great content. First up is a blog post from David Eldersfeld where he looks at Topo JSON map files. Why is he looking at Topo JSON map files? Well, that's because that's the map file of preference for the D3 framework. And why is that important? Because Power BI uses the D3 framework for its visualizations. And now that Power BI lets you use custom shape files, this becomes really important. So David provides some sample files as well as some of his insights as he's worked with this format. So if you're interested in custom map files, then be sure to check out this blog post to see how you can get started with it. Next up is a blog post from Marco Russo where he had some additional Q&A at his session at 24 Hours of Pass. He presented on Power BI and one thing I was surprised about, well, maybe not that surprised, was there were questions about the gateway and he answered the majority of them were actually about the gateway, it seemed. So if you attended his session or you're just curious about what the questions were and what the answers are, then be sure to check out this blog post. Power BI data stories. So first off, congratulations to this month's featured data stories. Every month we feature a couple of data stories that are posted on the Power BI data stories gallery. Data stories are just that, people telling stories with Power BI reports. And the gallery is a collection of those stories. So if you're looking for some good examples or you just haven't checked out the data story gallery, be sure to head over there and I'll have a link down in the description below. Did you know that the Power BI team hosts a bunch of webinars? This week alone, I think there were like two or three different webinars. Next week on September 20th, there's going to be a webinar for Power BI using R, and this is gonna be hosted by Greg Deckler. And the best thing about these webinars is all of them are recorded and they are available for you to watch after the fact. There's a lot of great information in these webinars. So if you haven't checked them out, be sure to check the link below for all of the recorded webinars and also stay tuned to the Power BI blog for any upcoming webinars that might be happening. This next one isn't a blog post, but I've been pinged on this a few times, so I thought I would share it out. And that is that there are new events for Power BI auditing. This includes a lot of events around the reports themselves. So if you wanna see who viewed a report, you can now do that. The auditing documentation should be updated by the end of this week or early next week with descriptions for all of those new events. Okay, let me know which item was your favorite. Go ahead and leave that in the poll up above or down in the comments below and tell me what you thought. Or you can let me know of an item that maybe you thought about that I didn't. And be sure to subscribe to this channel for more great content. Every Thursday I do an information roundup just like this. And every Tuesday I do a technical item where I walk through how something works or how to troubleshoot something and just try to help you out. Thank you so much for watching and keep being awesome.